hello and welcome to part three of me filming all of the books on my physical TBR. Today we are doing my way books. Previously I have done thrillers and classics so I will link both of those down below but I also have a playlist for all of these so like if you care watch them. I don't know. It's interesting for me to like film this, see this, like just to physically see something helps me. So this is like in some ways beneficial to me, I guess. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm filming this. I have, this is a hard one to count. <laughs> I have 55 books that I will be showing, but there's a button there that I will explain once I get to that book. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna start this because so far this is the, the lo longest one, the biggest stack of books, the most books. I don't know. This is the most, so. I'm just gonna get right into it and show you all of the young adult books on my TBR. The Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine, The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, The Scorpio Races by Matthew Stiefvater, To Be Perfectly Honest by Sonia Soames, Inkheart by Cornelia Funk, This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers, Kissing in the Rain and Lucas by Kevin Brooks, the Disenchantments by Nina LaCour, Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, Blood on the River by Elisa Carbone, all seven books in the Tomorrow series by John Marston, which are, in no particular order, The Night is for Hunting, Burning for Revenge, A Killing Frost, The Other Side of Dawn, Darkness Be My Friend, The Dead of Night, and Tomorrow When the War Began. The Looking Glass Wars series by Frank Vetter, which are The Looking Glass Wars, Seeing Red, and Arch Enemy. I have technically read The Looking Glass Wars and Seeing Red before, but it was more than 15 years ago, so because I want to read the third one, I've just put them all back on my physical TBR five books in the Throne of Glass series, which are, in no particular order, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, Queen of Shadows, Crown of Midnight, Empire of Storms, and Air of Fire, Ophelia by Lisa Klein, The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, Gilded Cage by Vic James, Driving by Starlight by Anat Darasim, Bridge of Clay by Marcus Susak, Shout by Lori House Anderson, and The Complicated One. <laughs> Fearless by Francine Pascal. This is the first book in the Fearless series, and I own all of them, which is 42 books, um, because I own the entire series plus both super editions and the four book spinoff series. I only include this as one on my TBR spreadsheet, and I do not have the energy to go through all, like, 42 books. That's a lot of books, and nobody cares, so let's just say the Entire Fearless series by Francine Pascal, Stolen Children by Peg Carrot, Tercius the Oracle by G.P. Taylor, The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley, The Last Summer of You and Me by Anne Bershares, Rebecca of Sunny Glass Farm by Kate Douglas Wiggin, Life as We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer, Twice Taken by Susan Beth Pfeffer, The Dead and the Gone by Susan Beth Pfeffer. Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, Storm Thief by Chris Wooding, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, The Misfit, which is an OC novel, and I have no idea who wrote it, and then finally, I think the first seven books in the Pretty Little Liar series, which are, in no particular order, Heartless by Sarah Shepard, Killer, Wicked, Unbelievable, Perfect, Flawless, and Pretty Little Liars. Now that I've gotten to the end, I should also add that I miscounted because I forgot until halfway through this video that I own Sarah J Mass books because they were on a different shelf than most of my young adult novels. So add five to whatever my number at the beginning was. I've already forgotten. But these are all of the young adult books on my physical TBR. So let me know down below if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, if you have, if you've heard any things, good or bad about any of them. Some of them are older. Most of them are older. I don't buy quite as many young adult books anymore. Some of them might be middle grade, but like 
when you haven't read them, it's really hard to differentiate sometimes. So this is just like my best guess. When I do my middle grade video, there might be some YA books in there as well. So it is what it is. When I haven't read something, it's kind of hard to classify it by genre unless you do a lot of research, which I never do. So yes, talk to me about these in the comments. Let me know if you want to buddy read any of these. If you've heard terrible things and I should unhold them. I don't know. Just talk to me. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.